Hello and welcome to Neetu's Nest. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a spicy meat cake. To a pan, add around 2 tablespoons of oil. Once it is hot, you can add the marinated chicken boneless pieces. For the masala, you can refer the description box. Cover and cook this until it is soft and tender. Once it is cooked, you can open the lid and fry them until all the water has been absorbed. Now to another kadai, add around 2 tablespoons of oil. Put in some curry leaves, 3 to 4 chopped green chilies. Now to this add 3 to 4 medium sized onions which are chopped and saute this well until it is light brown in color. Now to this add 1 tablespoon of ginger garlic paste. Saute this until the raw smell goes. Now add 1 capsicum which is chopped and mix this well. Now to this add 1 teaspoon of garam masala powder, 1 teaspoon of pepper powder and half teaspoon of turmeric powder. Now saute this until the raw smell of the masala grows. The cooked and fried chicken I have blended in a mixy coarsely. Now add this chicken mixture to this. Instead of chicken, you can use any other meat of your choice. Now to this you can add some chopped coriander leaves. Now add some salt according to taste. Now you can switch off the flame and keep this aside. Now to a bowl add 4 eggs Now beat this well Adding a little bit of salt Until it is thick and creamy once you get this texture, you can add 3 4th cup of rava or semolina. Make sure you use roasted rava and gradually add the semolina or rava into this mixture, folding it using the cut and fold method. Doing this will make the cake soft. Now you can add in the chicken mixture. Now mix this until it is combined. Make sure you don't over mix it. You can take the same saucepan which you have used for frying the chicken. Add a drop of oil and grease the pan well. Now you can pour the prepared batter into the pan. Place a tawa on the stove and on top of that place the pan. Cover this and cook it on low flame for about 12 to 15 minutes. Now you can see that our rava cake has cooked perfectly. Make sure you don't keep the pan directly on the flame or else you'll get the bottom part of the cake burnt. 
This is a very simple and easy to make recipe. You can serve this for breakfast, dinner or even as an evening snack. I'm sure the kids are going to love it. Do try out this easy and delicious recipe and share it with your friends and family. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Until then, it's bye from me.